And he just hit the parked car because he's going too fast. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Today is an update for me. Uh, I was one of the latecomers to get the latest update, which is 2018.44.2, which is also known as the uh, cold climate update or the winter update for all us uh, cold climate people. Well, what it's actually supposed to fix is uh, the cold climate, uh, a few features, but one of the main features that people have been talking about, as you'll see here, let me just get me out of the angle, out of the shot here, this uh, window, I haven't done the update yet, so what we're going to do is we're going to see the before and after, like I said, I'm still rocking 44.1, so what I'm going to do is open the door and see how far the window comes down because from what I've heard from many people uh, it changes the characteristics of the window going up and uh, going in into the trim here where it's frameless as we all know on the Model 3 so let's see this is 44.1 let's see what it's like okay let's check it out so here's the window this is like I said 44.1 this is gonna be the natural characteristics of it and there you see it goes down when I open it and I close it it goes up so we can we can deduct that it actually goes up up to here and it goes way up into up into there so do it one more time we'll open it up and we'll close it now let's do the and he just hit the parked car because he's going too fast that's the problem in this neighborhood. I'm glad it wasn't my car. Thank God. He hit a parked car because he's flying, going way too fast. This is my street down here, folks. And it's a sheet of ice, but people continue to fly down here for some reason. I've got his plate, so you better not try to go anywhere seeing he lives on the street. Huh. Anyways, back to the video. I'll let him do what he's got to do. So, okay, so what we're gonna do, open the car. As you can see, there is the update waiting for me to install. I'll update it. Maybe, hey, you never know. Maybe it's drive on now for Canada. I doubt it. Uh, it's probably, just like I said, it's probably just a 44.2, the winter package. And uh, we'll come back and we'll test the, the doors again, okay? Be right back. He left, he didn't even stay. Well, I've got his license plate, so. I'm gonna go over to the neighbor and I'll uh, let them know what happened because he didn't stick around at all okay I just went and I talked to the uh, owner of that car there I can't believe the guy dro drove off like he must have saw me recording him like uh, I don't get it and he must live on this street because my street is like a dead-end street you, you can only go in or come out on this street, so what an idiot. I just spoke to the owner of the car and I told him I, I got on video, I'm going to get the plate and bring it back to him. Just goes to show you the irresponsibility of some people. Now he's going to be charged with failed to remain. Okay, back to the video. Okay, folks, got the phone app here. What we're going to do is we're going to do the update over the phone, just like, uh, you know, because we can. So as you can see there, it says software update right here. So we're going to click on that. It's going to give through all that mumbo jumbo and we're going to click on install. It's going to do its countdown thing. It's going to say, I can't read what it's saying. It's saying something there. We're going to disregard that. And um, we'll let the update do its thing and we'll come back and, and we'll test it out and see how it works after that. Be right back. Okay, folks, as you can see, the software update is complete. So let's go to the car and take a look and see what it says. Okay. Let's go back out and see uh, the difference now with the update. I checked the update, by the way, and it is, in fact, 2018.44.2. And the roads look a little better. Hopefully nobody will run into each other again. Or not each other, but our cars. Let's go in here and confirm that it is the new update. Screen on. As you can see, yes, it does look like it is the new update. And uh, a summons beta, which is from the last one, and the climate, and the cold weather improvements. Okay, so it is a new update. Okay, we're on the outside. We close the door. It goes up. Open it. 
goes down. Okay, so see, I don't know if you can see what it did there. It slowly, when it when it goes up, it just comes down afterwards a little tiny bit. Close it up, and then see just a slight tiny tiny bit. It comes back down. Try it once more time. See there? I don't know if you can make it out on the video, but it goes up and then it just comes out slightly, ever so bit, ever so little. So, I mean, people were complaining. Let me see if you can get inside there. People were complaining that they think that it's cracked too much and it's gonna leak um, heat and stuff like that and, and be less efficient for the heat. But I don't see it. I mean, it's still, when you open it up, it still opens up considerably and comes down to clear that um, trim. Push it up. And yeah, I see it moves ever so slightly. Do it again. Yeah, I don't see much difference. The only other difference too is supposed to be with this uh, charge port door. There's a little locking mechanism. Let me zoom in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. A little lock me locking mechanism inside there that's supposed to uh, not engage and not engage as much and therefore you're not supposed to be able to uh, get stuck with your charging cord, getting stuck in there when it's frozen. But what, I mean, I never had that problem anyways, but what I do notice, I don't know if you can hear it, I will, wait until this car goes by. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'll put the microphone up as close to it as I can. And you'll hear a little ticking noise that just keeps going off and off and off. I don't know if you can hear it. The microphone is like right in there now. I'll be quiet and see if you can hear it. I don't know, so I don't know if you heard it there, but it's ticking. I figured out why that ticking noise is. So when it's charging, it locks and you can't hear a ticking noise. But when it stops charging, and it just sits in there and the light goes baby blue here. That's where the ticking noise comes back. And it just keeps ticking every second or every two seconds. And I don't know if that's because it's constantly trying to keep that little locking mechanism from freezing just by keeping it moving. But um, it's ticking. Anyways, folks, that's the new update for 44.2 uh, with the weather, what's it called? The weather package, a cold weather package and the behavior with the windows. Uh, as you can see, not as huge difference as I thought it would be. Some people said it's a huge difference and uh, it's letting cold air in when they drive and stuff like that. I haven't noticed that at all. So that's all I got today, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, before I go, folks, don't forget the referral program is ending soon. And uh, I'm so, so close. I'm so close to getting invited to the um, Model Y reveal. So if you're thinking of buying a Tesla and you haven't pulled the trigger yet, or you've just bought it, it's not too late to get the six month supercharging folks, even if you've taken delivery already. So get a hold of me and I'll tell you what to do and I will hook you up and you'll hook me up and we'll all be happy. Okay, until then, talk to you later, see ya.